Hello, everybody. So this is the podcast for this March 11th assignment. And what you guys are going to be doing is looking at whether something is is a growth model or a decay model. Okay, so growth means it's growing. Makes sense, you know, like the value of your stock or the value of your home, something like that. Uh, population usually grows, not always, okay? Uh, bacteria can either grow or decay, okay? Meaning that uh, like the number of people with the coronavirus would be, in, in theory, the number of people are, are increasing. Well, eventually there'll be a point, we hope, that where the number of people with it will be decreasing, okay? So here goes. Um, given this exponential function, exponential just means it has an exponent, um, identify whether the change represents a growth or decay and determine the percentage rate for the increase or decrease. Okay, when you've got this formula, when the stuff inside that parenthesis is bigger than one, then it's growth. Here, I guess, let me write it over here. If it's bigger than one, it's growth. W T A. When it's, um, okay, I should write over here. When one plus R is greater than one, then it's growth. Growth. When the stuff inside that parenthesis is less than one, then it's decay. And I purposely left this blank for the time being, okay? We'll see that on the next screen, and I, it's not one plus R. I'll show you that, okay? So, if this in here represents one plus the rate, you could be as fancy as going one plus the rate is equal to 1.05, and then subtract one from both sides, and you get R is equal to 0.05, so the percent rate of increase, it's increase because the number inside is bigger than one, it's gross, growth, so it's a 5% increase. So remember, you move the decimal two places, okay? So it would be 5%, so it represents growth, and it's 5%. If it was decay, you'd click on this, you'd see growth and decay as an option, and you would choose decay, and then it would change this to decrease. It would automatically do that, and you'd put in the percent decrease. Okay, but it's growth, so it's just you're gonna fill in the five percent. Okay. Now I said I wasn't gonna write one plus r for this number being bigger than one because it's really one minus r. When this is less than one, when what's in the parentheses is less than one, it's decay, and what's in there is one minus r rather than 1 plus r. Let me erase that. 1 plus r. Okay. r is the rate. Okay. So what you can do is go 1 minus r is equal to 0.23. Subtract the 1. And you have negative r is equal to, so it would be negative 7.7. .7. Let me go fancy. 2.3 minus 1 is negative 7.7, .7, or 0.77, sorry, I can't read my decimals. I'm gonna divide by negative one, and you get R is equal to 77, or 0.77. Okay, so what is the rate? That's your R, R is 0.77, so you move the decimal two places, and it's 77%, but this is decay, so you click on this, decay will show up, and this will become decrease. Okay. All right. I think that's all I need to show you guys. This is the name of your assignment. Thanks for your time.